This deals with one Gennady Golovkin, right? So Gennady Golovkin is prepping for the final trilogy bout against Canelo Alvarez. And there's been a lot of talk from Canelo's side about he don't like Triple G. Triple G trash talks a lot. And he's a, he, he front like he a nice guy, but Triple G's really a, a dirty dude. You know, all this different kind of stuff that Canelo's been saying. And it seems like there's been a lot of animosity coming from the Canelo camp uh, towards Triple G, even though Canelo Alvarez is the one who's up in the series. You know what I mean? So, but nevertheless, you know, they it recently interviewed Triple G, and a lot of the reporters were asking him if he feels like he's going to have to box and stick and move like a Dimitri Bivol did, right? Because what we saw from Dimitri Bivol against Canelo Alvarez is that he ended up being very technically sound, and he was very big but did not stay stationary. He did not stay stationary and allow Canelo Alvarez to load up on his typical power shots and bang him up out of there and have a, have a shot to defeat him like he did um, a Sergey Kovalev at that weight class. So, but Triple G said that, nah, man, I don't feel like I need to do that to score the victory against Canelo Alvarez. So, Q, here's the connector with, uh, based off of Triple G's thinking. Connector with, Triple G can defeat Canelo Alvarez by fighting the same way he did in the first two fights which was pretty much toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So connected with, he can beat Canelo Alvarez fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think it's a whip, man. I think he, he going to implement, you know, he going to implement some footwork. You know, you're not going to stand there and just, because at this point, man, like I said, you 40, he 40 plus. He's yeah, 40 yeah. Years old. He just mm -hmm. made 40. And um, I just think Canelo's stronger now. Canelo's stronger, a lot more seasoned. And he got a, he got a big chip on his shoulder, so I just feel like you will be standing there playing in Canelo's playing in Canelo's favor by doing that. You know, I just mm -hmm. think, um, yeah, you know, he does have a better the better he got an amazing jab, Triple G. You know, that's 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 key. But I just right. think that you got to be more. Don't be there to be hit. You know, I just think you might. I I I, I said he's gonna get stopped in this fight. Ooh, he said he's gonna get stopped. Man. Bad, I said that Triple G will will probably get stopped. Cause I just feel like Canelo's got better, you know, he got better as he fought him over time, and I just feel like, with at this point, you know, I just think that um, he, I think he put him on the right for the pick, and, and he all, he also moved up 168 pounds from 160. So this is his first fight with the extra eight pounds packed on, and he he's already said that he, you know, he feel the weight, he feel feels a little, you know, he feels a little heavier, but that, mm -hmm. that that'll help him be more sturdy. So I, I think he's thinking that. That weight gonna help him stand up. Help, him, help him absorb those punches. Absorb them. Yeah. I mean, we'll see, you know. Mm -hmm. And maybe hopefully add, add more power. I love to see him going in and get, you know, do his thing. You know, I love to be wrong, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't have him picking this fight, but you know, it, it'd be exciting. I love, I love the shock value that that it brings. You know what I'm saying? If you get in there, you know, if he clip Canelo, Canelo clip him. I, I love to see a knockout. You know, but um, I, I honestly think he's gonna implement some more footwork to not let Canelo be able to stand, sit on his punches as much and make make Canelo reset mm -hmm. and have to all, and chase him around the ring. Because Canelo, Canelo, you know, uh, Canelo don't like all that moving around. You know, he, he he's minimal, you know, and he has very – he got up top movement, but his foot his footwork ain't, ain't, ain't really there like that. So I just think it – if if, if the, a lot of this, this fight will be won with, with the better footwork and – Things like that, the ring generalship, and you know, I just feel like it won't do him no favors to try to fight how he been fighting. You know, he, he need to switch it up some. You know, but hey. still apply pressure now. You got to apply pressure still, but be smart. You know, be smart with it. Hey, you know, uh, you know what I will say, man. I, I, I oh, this is tough, man. It's a whiff for me too, bro. It's a whiff for me too, but bro, where I where I would differ, I still for some reason, bro. I feel like Triple G is still different to the point where he could possibly lose, but I don't think he'll get knocked out. But, bro, it is it is a whiff for me, though, that I don't believe that a 40-year-old Triple G, bro, is going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against a Canelo Alvarez and trade shot for shot and defeat uh, Canelo Alvarez, partly because at this point in Canelo Alvarez's career, he doesn't really want to bounce around and box, bro. 
He really does not want to get on his tippy toes and move around the ring and That's really what... cut off the ring a lot, bro. Right. At this point, Canelo Alvarez, all he wants to do is throw you know power what? shots. If I don't I even was... think if Canelo know how to throw a jab, bro. <laughs> if I was if I was uh Eddie Reynoso in the corner, I mean no, no, not Eddie Reynoso. I don't, who, who, matter of fact, who? who yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie talking about his trainer. No, 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 no. no. Who's Triple G's trainer? Uh, who, who, tri Triple G's trainer. He, he is, just switched. His trainer is a black guy thing. Who, who's he trained? I'm, I'm not sure who he trained by now if he switched up on him. Yeah, but anyway, so if I was Triple G, I'd say, you know what? We're going to bevault it for the first first six rounds. Uh huh. We're going we gonna to stick and move. We're going to make this. We're going we gonna to get him tied. Maybe it's his first eight. Just to get him tired. We're gonna win some round. We're gonna put this stick on him, and I want you to just stay out of stay out of his range. And then after about the seven round, we're gonna walk in his ass down with that jab. Uh huh. Walk him, walk him down with that jab, and follow it up, follow it up with overhands, and you know, follow it up with some combos and just yeah. apply pressure after, after he's after he's got worn a little bit. I, I, I guarantee you, Canelo's gonna come in this fight. I feel like he's gonna try to he's gonna try to land some significant shots to to to. To, to to sort of compromise Triple G early, you know what I'm saying? And especially if he's emotional. He's in, he, there's a lot of emotion going on right now, you know? And especially on the Canelo side. Yeah, big, that's big, what I'm big, big emotion. Like, Triple G ain't tripping. He's saying it ain't that serious. He don't know why this man is that mad. He's like, bro, like, mm -hmm. but Canelo, you know, is, is personal, you know? He, he done, he, he done slap, he done slap the hell out of uh, <laughs> Caleb Plant at the press conference. <laughs> you know, Canelo, 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 you know, he, he hey,